I am Nitesh Pradham from LabVIEW Programming. It is a video number 9 in the series of LabVIEW Signal Processing. In this video, we will learn how can we generate one side FFT using the real FFT VI. So for that, we need to open our LabVIEW. Open your LabVIEW. Come into the block diagram. Increase the Okay, now expand the block diagram. Come into the front panel. Take a numeric. Put the frequency. Sampling frequency. After that, take one more numeric number of sample. Number of sample. Now convert this number of sample into I thirty two to eliminate. Corrosion. Now, right click, come here, come into the uh, drag it, come into the signal processing, take a shine wave VI, open the label, okay, divide. For the frequency, frequency divided by the sampling rate. Sampling divided by the okay. After that, take this number of sample and connect with this number of sample. Now let's find one FFT. So for that, come here, come into the signal processing, come inside the transformations. There is FFT. Take the FFT, place here, and connect. Now it will be defined a FFT. Right click, come to the variable item, polymorphic BI selectors, a real FFT right now. Right now, real FFT, uh, FFT has been selected. So again, right click and Close the polymorphic BI. Sorry. Great. Come in here, take array to get the to know how many samples. So you can uh, take the, uh, this value from this platform also. So I will display. Delete this one, right? Once more, take this divide functions here. Now, take one more divide functions, divide this value with the 2. Why I am dividing? Because I need, because I need one side FFT. Okay. After that, right click, come to the array. Take array subset functions. Now come here, come to the mathematics complex. Take the complex to polar functions here and connect this complex to polar functions here. Now 
now index array now take one functions index array okay it will convert now we will take only the real value not okay we will take only the real value from this platform now this theta value okay because theta value is useless so index array now i am giving here the index value 0 right after this i will take one functions a replace array element a replace array okay a replace element why i will take the replace array element just because i want why i will replace just because i want to create a one sided fft one sided fft so i want to replace the start point the first point okay so index value will be the same and replaced value now we need frequency spacing why frequency spacing we need frequency spacing so as per the earlier example we know the sampling frequency divided by the number of sample that will create a array spacing sorry frequency spacing so it is frequency spacing after that take the bundle function right click tell t you can take this tell t then sorry t0 that is t0 you can say it is t0 it is del t then correct now i will let's take one waveform graph for the time domain and one waveform graph time d so which one is the time domain output so the time domain output is this one okay this is time domain now i will show you now we'll discuss here the frequency domain so here we will plot the spectrum of that single sideband fft nice coming to the front panel after this keep the frequency 30 hertz sampling rate 100 number of sample 100 And second one is the spectrum and first one is the my real time domain run why their frequency is 30 that's why the frequency is 30 that's why i am getting this data let's see where anything is wrong no amplitude frequency everything is set so what is the problem here frequency divided by the Yes, number of sample is 100. So why time domain signal is not okay? Time domain signal is not. If I will keep the frequency 30 and number of sample 1000 sampling frequency 1000. Okay. So look at here. It's showing only it's the frequency. It's frequency axis, okay. So highest frequency is so highest frequency is 30. Okay. Now if the frequency is 10, 
sorry, uh, frequency is 1000 and the number of sample is 100, then, right? Now, if frequency is 50 here, so it will shift here. So this frequency is soon, okay, this frequency is sampling frequency range. In the sampling frequency range, okay, it sample the data with the frequency of 50, okay. It's sampling frequency, but that the frequency, sample frequency, the main frequency is 50 or for this data. Okay, right. So, if you want to find the sampling frequency, so I will take one more thing. Look at here, there is one function in the array. Let's see if it is present in array or not. Come here in the mathematics. No, come into the array. Minimum and maximum, okay? It's not right. Short one D array, create indicators. Let's see. After that, if I will use the reverse one D array. Yes, we can use these functions. Okay, I forgot the functions. We can use these functions, control B, max or minimum. So, the max value will give us the frequency of the signal. Frequency of the signal. This something problem. I will check it later in a previous video and I will show you how can you write it. So thank you for watching this video using this way. Using this way you can write your plot your one side FFT. Okay, single side 50. So thank you.